A moment ago, we told you about the drug trade returning to the Caribbean in a bigger way. Joining us now to discuss the efforts being used to combat this drug trade is Special Agent in Charge of the Caribbean at the Drug Enforcement Agency, Vita Warino. Welcome, Agent Warino. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Mr. Warino, let's start with this idea of the drug trade coming back to the Caribbean. Tell us why it is. Right now, um, we are seeing a, an increase of the drugs flowing through the Caribbean at approximately 14% um, up from 5% wow. uh, over the last uh, year or so. In one year, why is it that it's almost tripled? Well, it's triple because uh, drug traffickers go to where they think there's the weakest link. Um, when efforts are increased at the border with Mexico, when operations increased in Mexico and Central America, the traffickers ship to the Western, Central, Eastern Caribbean to get the drugs up to the United States and Europe. The Caribbean Basin Initiative was funded at about 200 plus million for the last three years or so. How do you account for that? How do you account for the fact that more money is being pumped into the special initiative and yet you're seeing an almost tripling of the amount of drugs from the United States coming through the Caribbean? Well, you, you can't necessarily uh, equate the amount of money that you put into an operation or a program and the amount of drugs that make it into the, to the United States. Number one, there, there's an increase of trafficking and the increase of drug flow coming out of South America. Number two, it's, it's just the, the amount of drugs, the, the, the open borders that we have, whether it's on the southwest border or borders here in Puerto Rico. So it's really one of the factors is the amount of drugs that are being, that the drug flow going through the Caribbean. So, um, but the, the money and the initiative stems the flow of drugs and it definitely does have an effect. Do you believe that the Caribbean Basin Initiative at this point needs to be funded much more than the funding that it's received over the last couple of years? I think what we have to do is take a look at what the funding and, and, and what are our results from funding. I think with the, the drugs, if the drugs continually flow more through the Caribbean, I think there has to be a shift of resources, including more funding. So the answer would be yes. Do you ever get frustrated by maybe lack of cooperation or corruption on the part of local law enforcement who you're working with? I wouldn't call it frustration. Unfortunately, part of the drug trade, part of one of the, the pillars of the drug trade is corruption. So it, it's something that, that we deal with at every level and in every country. You don't get frustrated. It's just one of those things you have to work through. How high up does the corruption go from your standpoint? There's obviously the foot soldiers, those on the ground that are corrupt. But as far as more highly connected, maybe politicians within these Caribbean nations, are you seeing any kind of movement toward less corruption, less involvement from the very top of these nations? Yeah, I think uh, if, if you take a, a, a history, you know, the 30 years or so that DEA has been in the Caribbean with our training, with our um, working close hand in hand, um, we see, you know, at the we see very little or less corruption, you know, at those upper levels. Um, I think we're seeing more uh, over the 30 years a more professional force working with law enforcement and and um, much like you would know in the Caribbean, there have not been, you know, cases where we're seeing high level of corruption at the highest level. Um, it, it's like we have in the U.S., it's usually at that local level uh, that we see the corruption. So you're saying at the highest level of some of these Caribbean nations, you're not seeing as much corruption as you used to see? I, 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 could, I could stand by that. We're seeing less corruption at the highest level than there has been in the past. Do you think this is a fight that we can really win? And what is your definition of success? We're seizing the drug. That, that's part of it. But here in the Caribbean Basin, I think the working with other nations, other government agencies, and really all of us, standing up to stem the flow, that's my definition of success. You know, what I would add is that we need to be proactive to, we need to move the drug trade by what we're doing to get them off balance. And if you keep that assault on them and you keep them moving, eventually you're gonna deteriorate their infrastructure. So 
just by, I, I would just add, you just don't want to shift it from one area. You want to attack it because it takes time to regroup and them to organize for other routes. So it's sort of like attack, attack from all ends, not just move it from one point to another point. Thank you so much, Mr. Warina, for joining us. That's Special Agent in Charge of the Caribbean for the Drug Enforcement Agency, Vito Warino. Thank you very much. And coming up on 18 Degrees North, we know it as Antigua and Barbuda, but in less than 50 years, will Antigua stand alone because of climate change? We are predicting, based on the sciences, that about 60% of Barbuda will become submerged. How Barbuda will strike the balance between economic development and environmental sustainability after the break. The preceding segment was brought to you by JN International Money Transfer. I love JN Money Transfer. Yo, love my JN Money Transfer card. I love the way they understand me. I just love how the money reach real fast. I love that it's my connection to home. I love that it is so very convenient. I love the way they help me say I love you. I might think this. First Global Bank presents Rewards Your Way, the Visa Credit Cards Rewards program that gets you the stuff you really want. Of course there's travel and hotel, but there's also merchandise from our vendor partners, name brand appliances and accessories, hardware and tools, designer furniture, access to amazing local attractions and even groceries. First Global Rewards Your Way makes the impossible possible, with the best Visa Rewards program and the lowest interest rates in Jamaica. What are you waiting for? Upgrade your card to FGB Visa today. Finally, a way to help control your diabetes. Introducing Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea. Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea is all natural and sweetened with stevia leaves, a plant sweetener that's safe for diabetics. Cinnamon increases the body's ability to regulate blood sugar. Peppermint is high in antioxidants and soothes the stomach. Take control of your diabetes with Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea. Tropical Rhythms for the fun of life.